I'm the one who writes your name in black marker on your Starbucks cup. I'd probably write around 500 customers' names every day. Recently, it's come to my attention that people aren't always satisfied with the names I've written. In fact, many people say the names are often wildly inaccurate. They want to know why I can never get it right. Allow me to explain why. I am fucking with you. My name should be trouble. I didn't mishear your name. I'm deliberately misspelling your name to confuse and annoy you. It's the best part of my job, and I will never stop. Let me assure you, everyone in the world knows how to spell Jessica. Literally everyone. I decided to write Gessica on your cup to play with your emotions in a shrewd and calculating way. And it worked. You posted about it on Instagram, Twitter, and Vine. So sorry you didn't go viral. I'm in your head now. When I hear a customer's name, I immediately think, how can I spell this name in an obnoxious way that will infuriate and perplex them? For example, instead of Chris, writing Chris. It's a small change, but people still hate it. Other times, I like to really fuck with people by spelling their name in a way that barely contains any of the correct letters. Like that time I spelled Nikol instead of Michael. Oh man, that guy almost had a mental breakdown when he saw that. It's a sad world, but we all have to live. What's wrong? Poor, poor Nikal. But every once in a while, I'll spell your name correctly. You'll pick up your order and be delighted to discover that your name is spelled right today. You'll think things might be looking up for you. That's what I want you to think. I'm lulling you into a false sense of security. This isn't over. It's never over. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Uh, John. Thanks, John. Hi, I'm Paul. Tell me your best Starbucks story in the comments, and I'll feature my favorites in an upcoming video. Subscribe and thumbs up if you liked it, and I'm on Instagram and Twitter, but who gives a fuck? Special thanks to Starbucks for having a sense of humor about this, and thanks to you for watching. This is not how you spell my name.